Hello, I'm Marina Breutman, Director of PCORI's Peer Review Program. Welcome to our introduction to PCORI Peer Review. I'll be describing our process for evaluating the final report of our funded research. Although peer review comes after the PCORI funded study is complete, this video can help you start preparing for this important component of your research contract with PCORI. In this video, I'll share why PCORI has a peer review process and its purpose. I will describe the structure of the final research report that you must submit for peer review. I will also explain what to expect when you enter the peer review stage of your project. Our peer review process was established as part of our initial authorizing language in support of PCORI's mission to provide trustworthy research results that help people make informed healthcare decisions. The goal of peer review is to ensure our funded research results are held to the highest scientific standards, demonstrate methodological rigor, and share results that are useful to patients, clinicians, researchers, and other healthcare stakeholders. We recognized early on that disseminating results through journal publication was unlikely to meet our stated goals. This was due to some potential limitations. Inconclusive or incomplete research is often not published, which might create a biased view of the body of evidence. The format of most journal articles usually is too brief to capture detailed descriptions of study conduct. There is often a lengthy lag time between study completion and the publication of research results. One of PCORI's priorities is to publish results as quickly as possible. Reporting standards are also inconsistent across journals, so it is not possible to ensure the same level of review for each research paper. Our peer review process addresses each of these needs. First, all PCORI funded research produces a publicly available final report, regardless of the results. Second, every final report goes through the same rigorous peer review to make sure that it provides a full and accurate account of the research. Third, the final reports provide details on what worked and didn't work in the study. Other researchers can build off the lessons learned rather than making similar mistakes. And fourth, the final reports go through peer review as soon as the study is finished. Results are disseminated as quickly as possible. Now I'll describe the major components of the final research report. The final report is structured like a journal article, but it's much larger. It can be up to 15,000 words. The report describes all study aims, methods, and results. Additional elements to the report not always found in a journal article can include a section on patient and stakeholder engagement, a description of any major changes to the study design and protocol during the project, all study limitations and any analyses of participants' subgroup differences, lessons the investigators learned in running the study, and how their study results fit with other research and clinical practice. The peer review process itself consists of five stages, starting with report preparation. A few months before submitting the report, the study investigators meet with the peer review author services team to help them prepare the report for peer review submission. Investigators can start writing sections of the final research report a year or more before the start of peer review. Once the report is submitted, we check it for completeness and clarity in what we refer to as the pre-review stage. Remember, the report must include everything PCORI funded and must follow the writing instructions posted on our website. We then assign the report to one of our associate editors to manage the review and a statistician to assess the report's methods. The associate editor then invites expert reviewers, including at least two subject matter experts, as well as patients, clinicians, or other healthcare decision makers with lived experience. The associate editor and reviewers are evaluating how well the report addresses three important factors. Scientific integrity refers to making sure the report's conclusions follow logically from the conduct and results of the study. Adherence to PCORI methodology standards determines whether the research used sound research methods based on PCORI's methodology report. 
And finally, relevance and usefulness refers to how the study can be useful for people making healthcare decisions or policy. Editor and reviewer comments are sent to the researchers who have two months to revise the report based on the reviewer comments. Study authors can expect one or two more revisions for any remaining issues the associate editors identify. Once the report completes peer review, PCORI accepts the report as final and it is copy edited in preparation for dissemination of the results on our website, PCORI.org. 90 days after peer review is completed, PCORI posts two 500 word summaries of the final report on our website one for the general public and one for clinicians. The copy edited final research report must be posted one year after peer review ends or earlier at the PI's discretion. Once posted, the final research report is available on the PCORI website and is indexed in PubMed, making it readily available to the public and easily citable by other researchers. We hope this video has helped introduce you to our peer review process and why it is important. Remember that this scientifically rigorous process will help you produce a detailed narrative of your research study that you can cite in other publications. We encourage you to start thinking about the final research report well before the peer review period of your study begins, and we have the resources to help you prepare for peer review. You can find more information about our process at this website, and you can contact us with any questions at peerreview at Thank you.